Hey guys, so I've been trying to upload on YouTube every Monday and Wednesday. Today is Monday, so I'm going to be uploading today, but I didn't know what to upload, so I thought, oh, I'll do a question and answer. That's pretty freaking boring, but whatever, I'll do it anyway. So please leave me questions on my latest Instagram. Y'all pulled through. I got so many questions. I'm not going to say your names because last time I tried to say names and that was just a flippin' fail and a half. Stina Selder Cove. So, let's just not do that this time. Okay, first question. Do you watch Netflix? What are your favorite shows? My favorite show that I ever watched was Making a Murderer. That was the flippin' best. And how do you look so beautiful all the time? And also, do you have a makeup routine or do you just do a natural face? Um, thank you. Genetics. <laughs> Beauty's in the, ba the eye of the beholder, so I'm glad you think I look beautiful all the time. I don't think I look beautiful all the time. <laughs> um, I don't have a makeup routine. When I feel like wearing makeup, I kind of just do whatever I feel like doing. Battery's gonna die, gosh darn it. What's your perfect song for a rainy day? The song's called We Dance, and I don't know who whose song it actually is. I think it's Bethel Church's music department. I don't even know. But my friend did a cover of it, and it's so nice. Go. You can go, she has a YouTube channel, it's called um, Mara Fam, uh, Mara Fam. I'll go, I'll link it, and this is their, she sang it with her husband, and it's so nice. You steady me, slow and sweet, we sway, take the lead, and I will follow. Yeah, go check out Maddie. She's flipping cute and she just had her first baby. She's literally the cutest baby I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, Maddie. I'm so excited for you and Daniel. I need to charge my battery because it's going to die. So I'm going to resume in probably 30 minutes. All right, I'm back and we lost a bit of light here. So I'm going to reposition y'all. <laughs> I don't want to look at that. Oh, Tay, Tay, we back. Hey, Sahara, I love you and, and your videos. Thanks. How long has it been since you washed your hair? Do you still have dreadlocks? <laughs> the dreadlocks are gone. I actually have been washing my hair recently, like the last couple months, pretty consistently because I feel like not washing your hair works really well when your hair is shorter than shoulder length because when you don't wash your hair your hair doesn't get greasy anymore it gets kind of like waxy which sounds gross but it's not gross to me and i think it looks fine but when your hair gets as long as mine and you're not washing it and it's like waxy it just dreads up it's impossible like i could just brush my hair and then a little bit later dread up and it doesn't work for me because I don't really want dreads. What inspires you the most? Um, this is kind of a hippy dippy answer, but probably love. How do you find yourself at peace? I find peace most when I concentrate on the things that I want and currently have that I'm thankful for, rather than focusing on the things that I don't have and the things that I don't want, if that makes sense. Like, praying gives me a lot of peace because it's like I'm making my requests known to God, but I'm also making my requests known to myself and like in the direction that I want to move in. That makes sense. So I feel like like journaling really gives me peace. Talking to people really gives me peace. Praying really gives me peace. Yeah. Out of all the countries and places you've been to, which one is your favorite? My favorite place that I've ever been was Mexico because all the other places I've been to, the culture is very similar to North America. But Mexico is like, everyone's so friendly and generous with their neighbors and I don't know. I just really enjoyed my time there and I really enjoyed the people there. What's your favorite feeling? Probably laughter. What do you think about getting married nowadays? 
I think marriage is flipping awesome. I think having a life partner is a very beautiful thing. It's like you're choosing this person to love unconditionally. Like they could do the worst thing, but it's just like, I'm going to love you through that and you're going to love me through all of my struggles. You just have this person that you encourage and you invo and you both encourage each other and you just like go through life together and all your struggles together and it's just I don't know I think it's a beautiful concept there's a lot of bad things associated with marriage these days but I think marriage is really beautiful which city slash places would you like to visit one day PS I love your videos um, I really want to see more South America as I love Mexico. Like pretty much all the countries down there I'd really like to see. And I really want to go to like India. I want to see more of Asia like Thailand and all those fun places. I remember in a past video you saying something about film school. How is that going? Oh yeah, I took a course in media arts. So it was like film, it was animation, film and photography. And I only did that for one month and then I dropped out. <laughs> and I went on a cycling trip to Mexico instead. And I don't regret it at all. Um, I kind of just went to school to fill in my time because I didn't know what to do. So I just started school for no reason. And I just felt like it was a waste of money and a waste of my time. Um, not the school itself was a waste of time, but just to me personally it felt like a waste of time. And I'm glad that I didn't stay longer than I did. What makes you feel most fulfilled? Making honest art, like things that are honest to me. And also being honest with myself in general. And also genuine relationships that I can like be completely myself in. What camera do you use? I have a Canon G7X. The like class. <laughs> What is your favorite food? Um, I really like noodles. Did you make the strawberry lampshade in your room? Yeah, I did. I made it in grade 12. Strawberry. And I still love it to this day. If you could create a world for yourself, what would it look like? It would be similar to our world now, except there would be no greed. Everything that anyone made in our world would be genuine and from their heart. What hurts your heart? <laughs> um, just suffering in general hurts my heart. <laughs> Have you ever tried veganism? Would you ever consider it? Um, I was actually vegetarian for six years and I was vegan for probably at least a year, like in high school. But since I've been traveling and stuff, I don't know. I just feel like our society is so rich that we don't really need animals anymore. Like back in the day when there wasn't as much food and you actually need to hunt for your food, that's validate. You can validate that. But now we don't really need to eat animals. When it's like you just want to eat meat because you like the taste. You could just say that about anything. You could just be like, I like human meat because I like the taste. Doesn't really make it right. How do you boost your creativity? I think just sitting by myself and like thinking about things helps me be creative and Would you rather sleep in a tub full of Rice Krispies or a tub full of packing peanuts? Definitely packing peanuts because <laughs> Rice Krispies would just crunch up and then like if you were to sweat or anything it would stick to you and they'd be sticky and gross and mushy. Packing peanuts are just plastic and you can roll around in there, put some in your mouth, chew it a bit, spit it out, and it's good to go. How would you describe your personal style? 70s mixed with child's clothing. How do you learn to not care what other people think? It just comes down to feeling happier with being honest with myself. 
like I'm happier when I'm being genuine. So then I'm seeking out people that allow me to do that. Like if people are caring so much about what I'm doing that it's like bothering them, those are not the people that I wanna be around. How does your faith inspire your content? I don't know if it inspires my content as much as it just kind of like, it's like a part of my life and my content is like a reflection of kind of like my life. Are you engaged? Nadia, what the frick? Are you afraid you won't find someone cool enough or that you love enough to have a family with? That's a good question. I feel like I definitely do think about that, but it's kind of it kind of just comes down to trusting God. Like I just think about my best girlfriends that I've had and I'm just like that's what I want with a guy. That's what I want with a person as my life partner. And I don't see how that's impossible. And so I'm just praying for that and yeah. Are you single? What's your biggest goal in life or dream? My biggest goal is to have my own family. Are you in school? Nope. Can you do a backflip? Uh... <coughs> Whoa, that, I'm seeing stars now. This is beautiful. <laughs> What kind of YouTube videos annoy you the most? I like this question. Um, I think the most annoying videos on YouTube are the ones where they're clearly making it just for views. It's not like a community of creators, it's just like a community of marketers. Are you thinking of pursuing an artistic job in the future? The last like couple weeks I've honestly been thinking about acting. <laughs> I'm sorry if I didn't answer your question. You guys are just the bomb and you sent me so many that I couldn't answer them all. So thank you very much. Um, please comment more or like other videos that you want to see. Give me some like original ideas. Like some stuff that you're interested in and it's like original if you can think of anything. So they're cold. 